down the club, bitches show me love. Feet on the couch, feet on the couch. What's up, what's up? This is Feet on the Couch. We got co host Astro here today. Feet on the couch, feet on, on the, the couch. Hey, hey, hey. I don't ay, know ay. the rest of the lyrics, but hey. Hey, you guys know how I actually got that like theme song? How? It's actually fun. It's like a funny story, and like people have heard this in probably interviews and stuff. But the, the song actually predates Feet on the Couch, and the name Feet on the Couch kind of came from the song. So it's, it's kind of funny. It's by Ronnie J. It's called Wrists Out the Roof. And he's like, just shut down the club, bitches show me love. Feet on the couch, feet on the couch. Hey. Hey, <laughs> but hey. Anyways, you know what I mean? That's our little intro. Bro, weren't you going to switch the colors back here? Oh, I was going to switch the colors, but, you know, it's kind of a vibe. Because these are, these are my local colors, and I don't know how I feel about you oh, taking okay. my, I, I, right. my intellectual property oh, like right, that. All right, okay? cool, cool, cool. My IP. The remote's over there, bro. Look, before but I get kind of sued, before I get sued by Astro I'm gonna about right to sue here, his ass. he's going to sue me. He's going to sue me now. Look, look, bro, look at him. Well, while you go get that, I'll switch the camera because let me just look. Let me just tell the audience real quick. Miklo over here. I don't know what else to say. Just, it's just Miklo. Bro, hurry your ass up, bro. Oh, my God. Where is this? There you go. There you go. Can't find this fucking button. We're still getting used to this whole production, too. It's kind of crazy um, putting this shit together. Bro, I remember the first week I put this together, bro. This whole room was empty. If you guys would ever have the chance to see the whole room. This whole thing. Damn, I like these little rainbow colors. Oh, dude, I was thinking of like the Suicide Squad, you know, like Harley Harley Quinn, you know? There you go. See, it looks like Suicide Squad type of theme. Oh, okay. You know? So, so yeah, right. bro. So, yeah. so, you know, today, it's the first podcast. We're really getting used to the new setup, new equipment, yep. everything like that. Episode 2 will be better. Astro can barely even manage this. I'm going to tell you that right now. Dude. And he's the camera guy. I've been doing this for a while. He's the camera Imagine guy. Imagine if I haven't been doing this for a while and we just started from scratch. Like, this whole shit would be a mess. Oh, Ooh. man. Yo, what'd you have for breakfast today? What did I have for breakfast? What? So, I had um your bitch for breakfast. I'm joking. Oh, um, this mother. Uh, actually, bro, I had a sandwich. I think I had a sandwich, yeah. And a donut. Because I have a donut. dad bod. So and a donut. My dad what, bod. Where, where was the donut from? Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme? Krispy oh, Kreme. you know you got to go to Krispy Kreme. Krispy you know? Kreme, bro. And it was the free donut, right? You didn't really even buy a donut? No, it was like those like those variety packs, you know, like the ones that come with like six oh. donuts in it. And I think that, I think I stole it from my mom because my mom's an assistant teacher. Mm. And so it was like teacher's weekday or teacher's appreciation week or whatever. So. so you enjoy stealing from teachers? Yes, because I never learned shit from teachers. So. Hey, I never learned shit from teachers either. Yeah. Fun no, fact, mm-hmm. I've been kicked out of both kindergarten, elementary, middle school, and high school. How? And college. Let's just say, How? like, school did not agree with How? me. How? Okay, so okay, explain each one. How'd you okay. kick it out from each, like, <laughs> fucking educational level? Oh, my God. You know? All right. So, I got kicked out of kindergarten because I would fight with people. Because people would, um, Damn, this like, kind of, well. like, bully me. Yeah, I know. That's why I didn't want to turn the whole gain up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> why, why do you think Well, I we need a carpet. We're still in pre-production. So. Okay, yeah. Bear with us. This is better than an iPhone that I did before. So, um, true, true. Yeah. Anyways, I got kicked out of kindergarten for starting fights. And then elementary, I actually, like, this is a really funny story. I got kicked out of elementary school because I lit a pine cone on fire with a magnifying glass. And I threw it on the roof, and they said I was trying to burn down the building. Science, bitch. That is science, bitch. Hey, science, bitch. <laughs> that's science. But, anyways. Then um, after I got kicked out of elementary, um, middle school, I got kicked out for like the stupidest reason. Bro, I got kicked out of middle school because I tripped over a girl's cello and it broke. And then... What really? It, yeah, well, dead bro, ass. Because dead you, ass. Because you... So this is the cello board. Boom. Oh my God. You're already kicked yes. out of fucking... Mid- Damn. Dog, yes. And the, cool, Damn. the fucking fucked up part, bro, was I got kicked out the day before the last day of school. So like I didn't get to say bye to anybody, let them know what was happening with me. I just disappeared. Like... Bro, I didn't even get nothing. Like, dude, and then I was like a transfer student at the time. Um, this was at a school called Eastwood Knowles. Um, Eastwood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I went to school on the west side of Mesita, and then I went. Let's be nice. I went to school in the ghetto. Oh, you went to school in the ghetto? Where'd yeah. you go to school? Uh, my, think of my high school as just 32 portables, no hallways, no sports, just pure education, and 100 students. Sounds like Eastwood High School. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay no no i'm not even gonna argue that but okay. uh, i'm just kidding it's just because when i went there like they still had all these portable shits and they were building that new school like we didn't get that nice ass school that they i never had, had a nice school to, to begin with <laughs> listen bro i grew up in the ghetto bro my middle school bro was mcgoffin middle school all one right. let me tell you the story one we took a community service trip as a football team right and we we're gonna go clean a fucking cemetery 
Clean a we, cemetery. We cleaned the cemetery. That's Did you so, dig up graves? So it's McGoffin Middle School. There's a McGoffin Hospital. Okay. And then right next to it is a cemetery that dates back to like fucking 1700s, bro. Mm. Like it's stupid. Did you see any old. ghosts? So we were, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Actually, I did see a ghost once. Um, anyways, well, I'll claim it's a ghost, but I'll talk about that right now too. So, bro, we, um, we were cleaning, right? Like little, little fandy dandy little kids, you know, doing our community service, you know, having some good things in our hearts, you know, a good feeling. Yeah, and my good friend, intentions. Good my friend intentions. picks up a rock. What he thinks is a rock, flips it over. It's a baby school, an actual baby school. I'm not even kidding, bro. You can look this up. You can look this up. And it comes out, McGoffin Middle School, football children uh, discover a, a baby skull, you know? And, like, I guess it washed away from the rain and all that. That's how old the cemetery is. Bro, how dig do, and how, dude, how was, deep do they dig the graves? Like, I was there with them. Do they just him. dig them, like, like just, like, like, like a Bro. foot deep and then just throw the body in there? I was what? there with him. And, dude, like, he just picked it up. And I was like, dude, like, what is that? He was like, I don't know. Let me see. He picked it up with his hands, turned it over. It was a fucking skull, bro. And he threw that shit. I mean, dude, we were kids. We started crying and shit. Because we were like, what the fuck? We just touched a skull, you know? Like, it was it was horrible. It was bad. And then we found voodoo dolls as well. Mm. It was crazy. And so the first time I saw a ghost, I went to go watch, um, what was it, Paranormal Activity? The yeah. little people that go and fucking do um, yeah, all that, shit. Yeah, that, that, like, those like fake movies that have like all like No, not Paranormal Activity. Um, It's like those four people that actually do like ghost hunting stuff around. Oh, like, you're talking cities. about like those old ghost hunting shows. Ghost like, hunters. Where, ghost, yeah, ghost, yeah, hunters ghost hunters and, and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we, we were, they were premiering their episode they did here in El Paso in the De Soto mm. Hotel um, at the cemetery. So we went to the cemetery, and it was me and my sister. We went to go see it. They were screening it on, like, a big morgue type of thing. Like, they were, that's what they were using as a projector. And we were sitting, like, around tombstones, bro. As we were watching the movie, we were sitting with chairs around tombstones and shit that were super old. Not even kidding, bro. The, move, the, the show ended or whatever. Everybody was leaving the cemetery, walking out. Me and my sister stood there for a while because we were, like, kind of, like, freaked out. We were, like, I can't move. I'm fucking scared. Mm. And so... We got up, and think about it, like a little hallway of like fucking tombstones everywhere. And so when we were walking, we were walking, working. There wasn't even a lot of people. This little girl, bro, pops out of nowhere from a fucking tombstone, bro. She was wearing purple. You couldn't see her fucking face. She had black hair covering her whole fucking face. She stops. She looks at me and my sister. So we're right here. The little girl stops right in front of us. She's like, no friendship, no love. And then she walks past between me and my sister. And we're like, what the fuck? We turned around right away. She wasn't there anymore, bro. And nobody was behind us to like block her view and all that. It was the creepiest shit of my life, bro. Bro, creepiest have you ever visited that uh, that place where Richard Ramirez used to do all like the like satanic rituals? Yeah, and that shit? that was the cemetery. Oh, that's the Concordia. The that was Concordia? The, that was the, oh, yeah, that's, that's where they were having the the screening. Oh in Concordia. shit. Yep. So. Did you ever go do satanic happened. rituals like Richard Ramirez or what? Fuck no, bro. You, you look like your Richard Ramirez's <laughs> little son, bro. Fuck oh no, my bro. god. Fuck no. Hell no, I don't look like that crazy ass motherfucker. But. Anyways, That's has there any story. has there any other crazy shit happened to you in your life that like you've seen like ghosts and shit? You know, no one believes this story, bro. But one time, I might have been half asleep. I might have been stupid the rest of my life. I don't know. But I woke up like two in the morning. So the room that I was in uh, at my house it used to be my grandma's room, mm-hmm. and so she passed away and all that. It was my grandma's house, and then my mom took it over and all that. And the room I was in, bro. One time, I woke up like at two in the morning, three in the morning. And I used to have scary dreams to begin with. But I woke up, and in the corner of my room, there was literally a woman in a white dress, bro. I'm not even kidding. Staring down at me. And I remember this shit, bro. Like, I'm already fucking tearing up. Because that shit was scary, bro. But she was looking straight at me. And I was like, what the hell? I closed my eyes right away. I was frozen. I thought I was dreaming. I thought I was, like, half asleep or whatever. I couldn't move. I was frozen. I was just, like, just, I couldn't open my eyes, bro. I woke up the next morning. I told my mom that everything that happened. She was like, oh, yeah, that used to be your grandma's room and this and that. And I'm like what the hell bro was that my grandma or was that like half asleep but no one believes me they were like nah you're probably still dreaming and blah blah and i'm like i don't know i could have sworn i opened my eyes and i saw a woman on the fucking corner of my wall crazy you have shit. a very active imagination crazy don't you? shit i don't know man i don't know i see a lot of shit mm. so you think you have like that clairvoyant like ability like to see ghosts because no. like i don't think no. i have that no at all. i don't i don't i don't like, I, th- I, I think i'm I just stupid I see, and i see shit i don't think i see anything like i've never really experienced anything besides like i thought i saw like a demon in my room Oh. Like one time. You saw yourself in the mirror? Oh, dude, I see myself in the mirror oh. all the time, bro. The oh. mirror always breaks, though. I always wonder why. I don't doubt it. These cameras are kind of breaking right now. Oh, I know. That camera already broke. That camera broke, bro. We have one camera yeah. left. Yep. <laughs> oh, what happened with the image here, bro? Damn. Bro, the image the image is all sliced up there you now go. because there you, you messed go. it up. There you go. I clicked it back. Sir. See, look, our cameraman still doesn't know how to Listen, use cameras. Bitch. Listen, this how is the program. Taking, how this long is have a you been taking, taking photographs for? 2017 so like 2019 and then i had that ex that like put me down and stopped me from doing mm. everything and then now i'm back at it i mean look at this shit back at it like a crack addict back right? at it like a crackhead 
Like yes. a crack addict. Yes, that too. You got to make it rhyme, bro. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Back at it like me, Quillen. So what did you do? What, oh, my God, no. I'm not a crackhead. Um, I don't do drugs, all right? Don't do oh, drugs, kids. Oh, bullshit. Oh, my God. I caught BS on that. If you know me, Quillen, you know it's BS. <laughs> Oh man! Look, I don't do drugs. I'm a good, I'm a good supporter of society. I support the. This arts. is not a video for kids, by the way. <laughs> oh no, this is definitely not a video for kids. None of my. We should videos. put this is made for kids when you upload it. Be like, actually, yes, no, that kids. actually messes up your your algorithm on no, I YouTube. Know. I always put no. I know yeah, that. I know yeah, that. yeah, you never put made for kids because then it's literally like, it categorizes you and like you know those slime videos. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm singing a song in my head. What? Oh, okay. I know you're not paying attention yeah, anymore. Like See, see this is this is the amount of attention span that humans have now. It's like it's like Dory from fucking Finding Nemo. It's Boy like shorts. Uh, <laughs> you're in love with that freaking, that freaking dude. That song is dope. Dude, you love that bad baby bad, video, huh? Bad bunny, first of all. Bad bunny. Oh bad my. baby. Did no. you just call me a bad baby? No, Thank bad you. bunny. I mean, I'm bad, a bad baby. baby. Bad baby I'm is that Doctor Phil, the Doctor Phil girl that raps. Um, that girl that was like. Catch me outside. Catch me outside. How about that? Yeah, 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 yeah that's that, her. That's bad baby. Oh wow. Yeah, she, now she makes a shit. She's not bad at all. She definitely acts like a baby though. Uh, yeah, dude. Now she makes millions of dollars on OnlyFans, bro. I'm gonna go subscribe. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, you can look that up for yourself. Uh, just put a note here somewhere. That I'm gonna go look that shit up. All right, all right. Yeah, um, man. Yeah, man. Good shit. But yeah, you know, I kind of we kind of went on a tangent. But anyways, um, you, this is random. Uh, should, should, should we get back to how I got kicked out of school? Uh, yeah, we didn't finish that shit. We didn't finish <laughs> that shit. Damn, bro. Oh my god. How do we go from okay. you getting kicked out to fucking talking about bad baby, whatever? The fuck? Oh, I think Damn. I asked you like. Um, anyways, like what no, we're gonna go off track again. We're gonna go off track again. We're gonna go off track again. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I got kicked out of middle school for kicking over a girl's cello by accident. I tripped over that shit. She had like that stick, you know, like that's that thing that they like put down so like they can make the cello higher or lower or whatever the fuck because some people are short and some people are tall um oh my god but anyways i tripped over that thing i broke like the bridge like that that little piece of wood that holds up like the the strings or some shit yeah and then i got i got like expelled like the second to last day of school so like they pulled me out of class and everything and like the 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 principal was like all right well we're gonna expel you and then i was like i'm gonna be expelled for like tripping over a girl's cello like how the hell does that make sense? Like, like really? Like, I don't think anybody in the audience would think that like makes sense at all, right? Nope. Fuck them. And like, basically, I was a transfer student, so it was like easy for them to kick me out because I wasn't like supposed to be in that like school district like area or whatever. I was supposed to go like to other schools yeah. um, that were in the area. But um, yeah, they kicked me out, and then uh, I never got to say bye to anybody. So uh, everybody thought I like left and like went ghost and shit. And then I went to okay. Eastwood Middle School, and luckily I didn't get kicked out of Eastwood Middle School. Wait, I that was elementary? No, 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 no. So you went to two middle schools? No, look, look, look. It's because that one was, like, elementary and middle school oh, together. Oh, gotcha. And then, like, gotcha. that was, like, sixth grade year, right? Gotcha. So, like, gotcha. I went to elementary, like, from one through five at, like, Mesita Elementary here, like, in, on Mesa. Mm. And then I went to Eastwood Knowles for sixth grade. And I was supposed to stay at Eastwood Knowles because it was, like, some international school and shit, and my mom wanted me to learn Chinese. Gotcha. Um, so yeah, and then basically I tripped over the girl's cello, they kicked me out, and uh, I was pissed, and I threw a chair at the principal. You threw a fucking chair at the principal? Yeah, I was in the office, and I like picked up a chair, like, like bro, like, I picked, like, look, watch. Like, you you dead ass picked I'll, up like, a chair. Yeah, like, I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate. Like, I picked up this She's chair. She's gonna demonstrate. I picked up the Please chair. Please don't throw it at me. And then I like. Bitch, put that shit it. down. <laughs> like, that. like I threw it like that. Oh lord, this bitch threw a chair at the middle principal. Yeah, yeah. I was pissed, bro. Yeah, but, yeah, I've never, never pissed this guy off. He's he will throw a chair at you. I will throw a chair at you. Yeah. <laughs> while while doing drugs. Oh my god, no. Okay, so anyways, then I went to Eastwood Middle School, right? And and I did good in Eastwood Middle School. Like I didn't get kicked out of that one. Um, I proceeded to Eastwood High School, and then um. I proceeded to get caught with like uh, marijuana, I think, like my freshman year, and then I went to like that deferred school, like Cesar Chavez, you know, where they make you, yeah. like, dude, it's kind is of. That, is that like the detention school? Is it? No, bro, it's no? like it's like the deferred school. It's like where they send oh. all the bad kids, like. All the baddies, damn! They send all the baddies. There. Nah, bro, they don't send no baddies there, bro. Like, yeah. I, I think there probably was like one baddie the whole time I was there. Like, really? nah, yeah. yeah. And then like, yeah. girls can't wear makeup. Guys have to cut their hair. Like literally, if you have hair like long, like oh, me, it's one of those. You gotta like yeah. shave your head. Okay, and shit. I get it. You went to prison. Okay, it was <laughs> prison, bro. All right, so like, and then, oh no, actually, it was kind of like prison because they'd make you walk with your hands behind your back. Like, you had to walk with That's your hands saying. behind your back. You went to juvie. That's not juvie, though. Bro, you went to some type of prison, bro, because like, your hands behind your back, it's, shaved head. But it's only, it's, no only baddies. Like, it's only for like, it's like school. Like, it's only for like school time, though. Okay. Like, it's not like you stay there, like juvie and shit. Mm. 
Um, but anyways, did you I learn? Would, uh, dude, I actually didn't learn much at okay. that school. But um, I'm gonna tell you, the teachers are ass, and they really didn't teach anything except for this one guy, Mr. Stewart. I love you, bro. If you are still around, I don't know. You were really old. Um, Damn. But he was cool, bro. He was like this Rest guy. Like peace, he Mr. used to Stewart. drive a purple Jaguar, bro. He pulled oh. up like a pimp. He had a cane and everything. Oh shit. I remember one time a student like, Mr. Stewart. like, because he was black, and like a student oh, okay. like used the N word to him oh. and shit. And he like stood up and he's like, "You want to see what this shit do?" He's like pulling up his cane like he about to smack the shit out what of this shit? kid. Oh, okay. I'm about like, to say like, what shit do? Like the fucking shotgun he about to pull out? Nah, bro. Oh, he, he got the, his cane up. Bro stood on both feet and he was like, "You want to see what this shit do?" And I was like, Dead "Damn." Ass? Damn, Mr. Stewart, damn. Dude, Mr. Stewart was a G, bro. And honestly, like, he, the way he would teach math was actually really, like, interactive and fun. So it wouldn't be, like, boring as hell. Because, like, I really knew math. Like, I was not, like, like dumb at all. Like, really, I, I got, like, mostly, like, straight A's and, like, B's here and there. That's a lie. He's still dumb. No, I'm not dumb at all. He's stupid. But, <laughs> oh, my God. Retarded. Anyways, um, yeah, so I went there, right? And then I went back to Eastwood High School after my 45-day sentence at Cesar Chavez. And I didn't have any issues up until, um, actually, I lie. Because I went back that year, too. <laughs> it's not the first time he lies. <laughs> oh, my God. And um, for reasons that I won't get into on here, um, due to legal reasons, legal uh, reason. I will uh, I will plead the fifth on, on what happened the second time. Yes, pleading and then, the fifth. Um, actually, actually, no. Actually, the second time I got in because of a fight. Because I, like, fought with my best friend. Mm -hmm. And then they had this, like, weird idea, bro, that I was, like, a narco. Like, they had this idea that I had, like, capos, soldados. Like, I had this whole organization. Like, of, you were the... You, yeah, like, okay. I had this whole organization. Like, they thought I was, like, the biggest drug dealer in the whole school. And I was just, like, sitting there, like... Were you? Nah, bro, I wasn't really. Hmm. I think there was people bigger than me. I used to drug deal those sweeties candies, you know? Oh, dude, I had yeah. a, a homie named Dale, bro. He yeah. used to make a killing, like, selling stuff. You know those shits you can, like, like rub and then, like, smoke him and shit? Like, the sweetie candies? Bro, fuck Dude, shit. I used to do that shit. I used to get high on sugar, bro. Damn. Oh, uh, bro. Sure shit. Now we just get high on life, right? Yeah. All right. Anyways, mm -hmm. so by the way, they thought I, ha I was like a narco or like in the cartel or some shit. So they like really like were like on my ass. And um, I got kicked out. And then they had some weird idea that I had like a fuckload of drugs in my backpack. And then I was like, wait, like, how do you guys think I have a bunch of drugs in my backpack? Like my backpack's full of books. And like, second of all, why would I bring drugs to school? Yeah. Like, I think that's, like, the most stupid thing, like, someone could do. But anyways. Especially when you're at that point. You know? Yeah. And then yeah. and then I got back for sophomore year. I had no issues in sophomore year, right? And um, my junior year, I got kicked out because of, like, some other things that I did that, like, I was kind of, like, uh, uh, I got, kind of got snitched out for some shit. Mm. And then, uh, yeah, basically, they kicked me out. And then I said, like, fuck that shit. I'm not going to Cesar Chavez again. And I didn't want to go to the deferred school. So I dropped out and I went to homeschool and graduated in six months. So, yeah, I graduated a year early from high school, got all my shit together. Damn, it ended up working out then. Yeah, it ended up working out, but I don't know how it ended up working out because at some points, like, you know, like, I was really thinking, like, man, like, fucking homeschool, like, shit. But that shit was dope, bro, because I'd be home all day, bro, you know, just, like, watching TV, doing my homework and shit. And then, you know, sometimes, like, you just pay a classmate to do your homework because, you know, like, you don't want to do your homework and oh shit. Oh, my God, yes, I feel that. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I graduated, and then I went to UTEP, and then I got kicked out because we were smoking in a dorm. And then, um, yeah, it wasn't even my dorm, though, and this is the craziest thing about so, UTEP. Says the guy that never did drugs. <laughs> Marijuana is not a drug. Marijuana is not a drug. It's a, it's a drug. It's a plant. It's a drug. It's a plant. It's a drug plant. It's a drug. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, my God. Okay. Anyways, um, at least I don't consider marijuana a drug because it doesn't cause any Okay, harm. we are not getting in that whole subject because, damn, bro. Fuck no. Anyways. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. All right. Anyways. We're not going to go down that Anyways. That, that, and then I got kicked out. All right. But this is the funny thing, right? Mm -hmm. None of the people that owned the dorm, it wasn't my dorm, got kicked out of college. They just got their dorm taken away. And then when I went to, like, the whole council of, like, whatever, like, the teachers or whatever the fuck, they told me, well, there's no way for us to punish you besides um, kicking you out of school. And then I was like, wait, what? Like, it wasn't even my dorm. Like, you can't even prove, like, like any of that shit was mine or, like, I just didn't show up in that time. And they were like, they were just like, no, nah, like, you're going to be kicked out of the UT school system for, like, the next two years and shit. So I couldn't go back to school for two years. So then I was like, oh, fuck this shit. And, and, then and I know what you did afterwards. Fuiste a vacaciones. Oh <laughs> Anyways, 
And then um, at the time, I was already, like, working in the insurance industry and stuff, so I really didn't care about, like, going to school because, Facts. like, at the time, I was already making, like, as probably as much as I would make, like, getting an entry-level job and what I wanted to do. Actually, I wanted to be an aerospace engineer. Um, Astro. Yeah, exactly, Astro. I wanted to design the rockets that are going to send you to space. Yes, sir. Although, like, your your space helmet that's sitting over there I'm going to wear it next isn't, time. Isn't really sealed. I don't think you'd Listen, make man, it Listen, man, that, is, think make that it is a Mexican-made helmet. Okay. Truly Mexican made. Pura pinche chicanada or what? Pura pinche chicanada, wey. <laughs> oh pinche puro screws in ese güey. All right. Well, anyways, I got kicked out. I got pissed. And I never went back to school because school is not for me. Clearly. <laughs> me too, bro. I feel, I feel that shit like, you know. I always believed you don't need a fucking degree to go to school. Or like, to, to not to go to school, but like to do anything in life. Like, as long as you just put in the fucking work. I mean, look where we're at, bro. Oh, yeah. Look I mean, at what we're doing, you know? I mean, I, like, to think about it like this. Like, really. If you're... If your like career path requires you to have a degree, like go to school. Like you know, you want to be a fucking yeah, yeah. doctor. Like a doctor, lawyer, you nurse. You want to be a doctor, yeah. lawyer, nurse. You know. Um, I don't want you doing surgery on me that you learned from like the fucking web medical website. You know. Yeah, like you yeah. know, WebMD. You're not gonna. Yeah. You're, you're, nope. No, no. But mm-hmm. anyways, you know. Um, but like, I would always see people going for like business, and I'd be like, "There's so many ways to learn." Dude, business. I like, did that actually. Bro, how, what I, did you learn okay, in business school? I didn't learn shit, and so that's why that's why I dropped out, and I started doing all this full time. And now it's paying really good, but at the moment I was like, was this shit really even worth it? Because I just needed a fucking path to go fucking follow, right? Yeah. And so, I graduated high school, bro. I went to NMSU and I studied. I went. I put my major in cinematography and my minor in entrepreneurship. And I was like, first of all, why the fuck? Now that I think about it, I'm like, why the fuck would they even make a minor for entrepreneurship? Like, because they want your money. Exactly, they want your money, and so. I ended up. Money, baby. Hey, man. Yes. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah. Anyways, so I got my um, I switched my degree because I was like, okay, I like filmmaking, I like all this shit, but I want to own a production company. I don't want to be the guy in the camera. So then I was like, okay, that's why I did entrepreneurship as my minor. And so the next semester, the spring semester, I ended up switching my minor to my major, and no, I ended up getting my major in general business and my minor in entrepreneurship. Never once that I learned any re- real world situation that would actually happen in business. So I started working with my cousin. I would literally ditch school, pretend I was going to miss you, and go straight to my cousin's house while he was starting his fucking business. This is a very typical little saying, but it's like he started in his garage, you know. Um, I mean, most most businesses start yeah. in their garage. And I have pictures and shit, like you know, like you go to my Instagram, oh, yeah, like I see, know, like you, you yeah, showed you, I showed that. you, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so, bro, every class, bro, would be. A guest speaker coming in, an old ass, like old ass motherfucker every single day, bro. A different new guest speaker every day, but there would be old people. And they would just talk about their businesses in the 1980s, 90s. And my bitch, none of that's relevant today. None of that's relevant today. They would give us textbooks, bro, from like 2015 on how to use social media and advertising marketing. My bitch, that's just 2015 when they barely built fucking Instagram and shit. I don't know, you know? It's like, damn. So, no, I never learned shit, ever. Yeah. I, I, I never. Gotta really do it on your own if you wanna do a business. I think the only Hands thing I experience. liked about I think the only thing that I think like college is good for and it's the reason people go to Harvard and all these like really good schools is like the networking opportunities. Like the people you can meet. Oh yeah, no definitely. Like, definitely. People you can meet it's like really cool yeah. because like let's say you want to build a business really like like everybody that like does the things that you need people to do are there in that yeah. school. You know what I mean? Like Absolutely. you need you need people that are doing marketing, there's people going to school for marketing. There you need you need like yeah. um, designers, there's people that are going for graphic design. You that need, is facts. That's, you that's need coders. Like, there's people that are going for computer science. There's, like, you know, like, that's, like, what I really think the value of school is. Yeah. I don't think that, like, the degrees are necessarily valuable at this point because, like, it's already gearing towards, like, self-education. Like, I think that's where the way ed- of education is going. Like, if you really want to learn something, you're going to learn it. And I, yeah. I've always thought that, too, because I always, like, looked at it, like, if – I'm getting taught by a book that's written by people. Why can't I just go buy the book and read the book myself and, like, learn all this shit myself? But, no, I had to, like, stay in class. And I think the reason teachers really didn't like me was because I would be bored in class. Like, I was, like, the kid that, like, would finish his work or finish his test, and then I'd, like, put my head down, and I'd, like, be sleeping. And, like, straight yeah. sleeping. Like, I remember I had a college professor that literally came up to me, and he was, like, tapping me on the head and shit, and, like, I would not wake up. And then I woke up, and he's like, if you don't want to be here, you don't have to be here. And then I walked out of the class, and I was like, all right, bet. Damn. I don't have to be here? Cool. There, there were students like that in my school, so you were one of those. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And and also, like, in high school, like, teachers would have this, like, weird, like, thing that they would be like, why don't you help other people? And I'm like, why would I help other people? Like, ain't nobody helping me. That's like, true. That's true. That's like, true. shit. You know, and, and at the end of the day, you do have to help people and be a good person or whatever the fuck. But I'm, I was not in that state of mind at that point. I was not going to fi- I was not finna sit down and help people. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
But but that's school. That's um, cool. Basically. Uh, I just keep singing the same song in my head. I, I know, I just dude. Can, bro. It's like, either let, that or, or let's talk about that 3D that couch, video. That 3D that video by Bad Bunny. Like, yeah. Dude, that shit's dope, bro. That's dope. That shit's like, dope. Like, imagine people making music videos where you get to follow them in the music video, like, as the camera person. Yeah, but you can That'd also, like, look at different angles, which is cool, because, like, in a music video, like, or, like, even in this video, like, right now, you're seeing this, this, like, point of view, right? But what if yeah. you can see the 360 point of view? Yeah, like, imagine, like, being able to, like, to, like, do this on your own, where you transition and shit, you know? Like, as a viewer, and, like, being able to see the whole fucking studio, that'd be dope. Yeah, but, like, that'd you know, dope. like, that, that one allows you to, like, drag yeah. and, like, see, like, the whole, like, scope of things. Yeah. So, I think it's pretty cool. I think, I think uh, videographers are really gonna get into that like for music videos and stuff um because like i guess it's more immersive like i feel like it's a much more immersive experience and like when you're making a music video you're trying to make it immersive so like yeah it, it actually like grabs people's attention yeah, and then you could put like the vr goggles and know, stuff on it and like, like it just makes it look like you're actually there with them in the music video which yeah. is pretty dope i like that shit yeah and I then also shit. like you know like um because a lot of people try to do like music videos that are like basic as fuck like there's just a bunch of people like fucking jumping and, shit. Yeah. and like they're all like spitting their rap exactly. or like you know like singing their song or whatever exactly, the hell. Exactly. and like whenever i think of music videos like i always think okay like how can i tell a story inside of this music video how can i like make it like to where people are interested in the music video in itself and the music is just like you know like a plus like a vibe yeah. creator like inside yeah, of the yeah. music video yeah i don't know man I mean, the way everything's going. We're, we're not going to talk about Web3 and all that shit in this episode because then we'll talk for hours. But oh, yeah. we should definitely talk about it in the next episode. But, like, uh, Web3, that's, that's NFTs, like the metaverse crypto. and all that shit. Yeah. Actually, one of my first um, interviews actually had a segment. It was, like, a 30-minute segment where I talked about crypto. Yeah. And I told everybody to buy crypto back when it wasn't worth shit. I you you didn't tell me. You didn't tell I me. I told everybody on my pod, on my whole feed on the couch page, I told them. I was like, you should go buy Bitcoin. It was at $7,000. And Ethereum was below $1,000. It was, like, $400, $500, $600. I don't know really uh, you, you didn't tell me yeah i didn't tell you because i didn't even know you at the time that's rude bro i didn't know how you. did you not know me bro that's rude bro i didn't know you all i i've, I've seen your pages though like el paso creative and, you didn't. and stuff but like i never knew like who was you should have been born stuff. knowing me bro what? that's that's rude <laughs> <laughs> well maybe if you had gone to the same schools as me maybe no because then i'd be in there with you bro in those detention shits. <laughs> oh, okay. my God. No way. You you would not be the one that's with me. I'd be trolling the teachers, bro. Oh, man. Really? Yeah. You troll teachers? No, but people used to be fucked up to teachers. And I, I don't want to get into those stories because they were fucked up. Like, like fucked up? Like like cockroaches like, in their car? Like, no, like, actually, somebody actually did this. Somebody burned down the whole the fucking bushes around the school just to burn them down because they thought it was funny. And that shit was stupid. Like, the whole school almost caught on fire because they burned down the fucking... So, next to McGoffin Middle School, there's a, there's a skate park. And they have bushes. Some dumbass decided to fucking light up every tree around the fucking park next to the school and tried to light up everything, you know? And they did. Everything burned, but, like, nothing really actually, like, caught on fire, fire as far as buildings. But, like, the, the fucking trees were burned and shit, you know? So those trees were fucking dead then. They were Because, like, usually, like, trees that, like, have, like, water well, yeah, they in had them. To, they had to replant everything and shit, bro. No, but I'm saying, like, the trees, like, had to be, like, dry as fuck because, like, wood yeah. doesn't catch fire oh, when yeah. it's, like, had Everything was burned, bro. Like, everything, like, the fucking No, but I'm saying, like, when he lit them on fire, like, they had to already be dead as fuck. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I mean, they weren't. You they don't burned. remember? I don't remember. I don't know how the trees' conditions were, but I mean, I know they were burned down. Damn. Yeah. So. So yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So enough about school. Enough about um, how I got kicked out of every single school that I've been to. Um, but now let's get into a little bit more. Um, how did you get started with photography? Like a little bit. Like let's just hear a little bit about yourself. Damn, bro. I'm already kind of brain fried, but. Um, that's, that's a whole story, how you, though. How do you fry your brain, bro? Do you, like, take it out and, like, you put well, it listen, in the fryer and shit? I actually get here in the morning. I'm like, you yeah, you just got here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> See, you actually sleep, bro. I'm joking. Um, uh, I sleep a lot. Actually, I've been sleeping way too much lately. I've been sleeping, like, That's 11, good. That's 11, good, because you never slept. Like, the past couple months, you actually never slept. Yeah, I know. I've been traveling everywhere. And that's because of, <laughs> you know, situations that happen. But it's fine. Uh, yeah. It's fine. But anyways. It's fine. Um, yeah, man. Oh. Um, I mean, I'll get into that story later. Um, another yeah, episode, yeah. You know? we'll, we'll get into that story later. It's also a long episode, a long, long story. We've hit 31 minutes. We've and hit so we got, a, we got a meeting in 30 minutes, and I kind of want to eat because I'm kind of hungry too. You want to eat? I'm, I'm fucking starving. Bro, you ate a gordita and shit. You're not hungry. I'm oh, fucking hungry. bro, I got to tell y'all about this shit. Oh, my God. All right. We don't, we don't a, say the name, though. Okay, we don't say I the won't name. say the name because I don't want to bash any local businesses. But look, yeah. when you're charging more for a limonada than a fucking gordita, you got something fucked up. All right, you say, got some fucked up. Say it straight to the camera, bro. Fundamentally, you are fucked up if you charge more for a drink than you charge for the actual food that you're providing to me. Like, and then 
Like, dude, how are you a burrito place and you ain't got no fucking tortillas, bro? <laughs> That's true, huh? That bro, is true. Out of Did they really tell you that? That they're bro, out of tortillas? Yes, they told me they're out, wow. like, bro, I'm like trying to order a burrito and they're like, actually, we're out of tortillas. And then I order something else and they're like, actually, we're out of that too. And every time we fucking go, bro, remember, they're always out of salsa. Yeah, no, that is true. Bro, always out of and then they charge you yeah. like five dollars for like an agua fresca, and I know how much agua fresca takes to make. Like really, like it's sugar, fucking like I got a limonada, so it's like sugar, lime, and fucking water, bro. Like that's literally it. Like it does not cost a lot to make that jar, and they don't even give you ice. Hey, yeah, sugar's expensive though. Sugar's like three bucks. Yeah. They charge five dollars for the single drink. Well. Hey man. Hey man. Hey man. Look, I can't knock anyone's hustle, but I don't fuck with that shit. That's true. That, that is that, that's kind of weird. That is really fucking I weird. can't knock anyone's hustle, but I don't fuck with that shit. If you're weird. charging more for drinks than you're charging for food, you got something fucked up in your life. Bro, let's end this episode on a really funny, like, oh, game. Yeah, yeah. You know, no, we, yeah. we should play, like, a game or something yeah, every well, fucking We're going to play Never Have I Ever. Okay. Ready? Okay. Go. How, how many of you, like, five fucking fingers or what? No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Hold up. Or hold up. You, hold up. Let me pull up. do this shit? Me fui de vacaciones. Oh my God, bro, you're going to get us DCMA'd. Hey, man. That's good, though, because that means I sing beautiful, and they thought I sounded like Bad Bunny. So They so. think you sound like Bad Bunny? Guys, drop in the comments if you think he sounds like Bad Bunny. I sound like Bunny. fucking Bad Bunny. Oh, I'm going to get roasted now, bro. I'm going to get roasted. Everybody's going to be like, no, he sounds like fucking Scooby-Doo and shit, you know? God, I can't hey, wait for these fucking comments now. Scooby-Doo is actually one of my yeah. favorite cartoons. So. Reg? Hey, Scooby-Doo is one of my favorite sure? cartoons. Sure? It is. Fucking... And um, let me see, let me see. Uh, Damn, let's guys. see. Feet on the couch. Okay, Feet okay we're going to end this couch. game. Hey. I'm going to do 10 questions. 10 questions, go. All right. Never I, have I just have to answer yes or no? No, you, ha you have to answer okay. you have or you haven't. Okay, so I'm just going to say yes or no. Okay. Go. Never have I ever slept on the floor. I have. Okay. Dude, I think everybody's Never had. have I ever broken someone's nose. I broke my sister's nose. Yes, I had. How did you break your sister's nose? It you was me and my elaborate. brother. We were playing around when we were little. And you were playing around beating up your sister? <laughs> no, <laughs> bitch. No, we don't abuse here, okay? We don't abuse here. Jesus. No, bro, no. We were playing. We were fucking going at no, it. No, th this is actually pretty funny. Like, bitch, get over here. <laughs> get over here. <laughs> you stole my cookie. Uh, no, bro, it's because um, we were playing ball or something like that, and I think we hit her with like a basketball, and her nose went crooked. And, Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is her nose still crooked to this day? Yes, sir. Damn. Yeah. I next next question. I actually broke my nose because... um. Uh, my you, mom backhanded. You look like you broke your whole face, but that's nah, a whole dude, subject. I, honestly, like you know, it's it's like in the <laughs> cartoons when someone gets their hit, face hit, but then they become prettier. Yeah. Like yeah, like that's me. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hmm. But actually, funny part, my mom actually backhanded me so hard one time that I broke my nose. Damn, your mom backhands you? Bro, I, my mom backhanded the fuck out of me, bro. She ain't scared. Now that's abuse. Look, that's not abuse. All right. That's, that's just tough love. Tough love. Yeah, tough love. We'll call it, it tough love. It made me who I am today. There you go. We'll call that tough love. You think I disrespect my mama after that? Hell no. Bro, I got a funny TikTok to show you I after mean, this, but it's kind of it's kind of not... Not appropriate? Not appropriate, yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll say that. Never have I ever done anal with a girl. No, I haven't. We talked about this subject all day. No, we haven't been talking about this subject all day. I just told you uh, about that I was going to uh. ask this question. Well, yeah, and I, and I told you I was going to tell the truth. No. I, I, don't, I don't like that shit. That's just... Weird, nasty. That's I don't want weird. my shit smelling like okay, caca. Okay, okay, okay. So know? what if like, like... Okay. If it was a certain one person that we're not going to say, then maybe, oh, then maybe, then maybe, oh, and then maybe, oh, then maybe I'd go all in. But if it's not that out. one certain person, the then no. no. I'm oh. telling you, I'm going to speak the truth on here, bro. bro. My whole life has been an open book if you guys want to check my social media shit out. You know, like my whole life has been an open book because uh, I really don't care what people say, so. Yeah, that's important. That's important for you not to care what people yeah. say. People mm -hmm. care about too much what other people yeah, think. Exactly. Exactly, bro. Don't be on social media if you care about what people say about you. Never have I ever quit a job on the first day. I haven't, no. No? You no. never quit a job mm -hmm. on the first day? No. What was your Because I only had like two jobs, and that was a stadium and my working with my cousin. How was it working at the stadium? Did you get free hot dogs? That shit was fun, bro. I got free food, free tickets and shit like that, but... The, everything was fun even being a supervisor and you know just getting to watch the games for free and all that and like having mm -hmm. people that work under you and shit like that you know like being able to boss shit around pretty much but um and walking around the whole stadium like it was a fun job so you, so you enjoy having power yeah dude yeah you enjoy having power over yeah people? dude i am very i like to be on top not the bottom <laughs> you know <laughs> anyways um but the pay sucked there's always an up and down to every job and it's like either it's a good job and the pay sucks or the pay's good but the job sucks and that was a okay. shitty pain job never have i ever done drugs <sighs> okay, well, we won't talk about LA. 
We don't talk about LA. LA was bro horrible. Ate, bro ate the tiniest gummy. No, it was tiniest, two gummies, bro. Okay, two. Two gummies two that were 40 milligrams each, and they were hard hitting gummies. gummies. They were hard hitting gummies, gummies, bro. I did 80 bro milligrams, was, bro. Bro was tripping. 80. Bro was tripping. He thought people weren't really speaking in reality. It's like people's mouths were moving, but it was like. I was like, is their mouth actually moving? And then things started coming out of the mouth, bro. And I was like, what the fuck is coming out of their mouth? And it was just, dude, I wish you could have seen it through my eyes. It was trippy, bro. It was trippy as fuck, bro. Damn, bro. bro. And then I heard Twinkies and I got up and ended up puking. Oh, yeah. You, you heard Twinkies and you were like, I'm not finna miss the Twinkies. Yeah, so dude, you don't fucking disrespect gonna... Twinkies. <laughs> don't disrespect Twinkies. Bro. You hear Twinkies, you go get that bitch, bro. Oh, my God. Okay. God damn it, bro. I don't care if you're dying. You have a bullet in your head. You, 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 go, you go get that Twinkie. Yeah, next question. Okay, okay, next question. I'm looking for a good one. I'm looking for a good one. Have you ever? Never have I ever peed in a public pool. I mean, as a little kid, yeah, but not like growing up and shit. That shit I don't even go to public pools anymore because that shit is disgusting. For real? Yeah, I don't, bro. Fucking uh, I have a pool by my house, so like I, I usually go there. Do you pee on fucking pools? Nah, actually, I've never peed in the pool. Such a liar, bro. Nah, I've never peed Such in the pool. Such a liar. I was raised in pools, bro. My dad literally, like, dude, to train me to swim, he literally grabbed me. You had to have pee when you were little, though, in the pool. Like, no, that, like, I think everybody maybe, can agree with maybe that. Maybe when I was a baby and I can't remember, but like from what I can remember of my whole childhood, I ain't never peed in no pool. You're the most lazy ass motherfucker I know. Of course, you wouldn't want to get out to go to the restroom. Bro, why am I going to pee do in the, the restroom. pool? That's disgusting. I don't want to swim in my own piss. That is facts, though. That is facts. Like, that is look, facts. but anyways. Imagine when you used to, like, fucking get water in your mouth and, like, other kids are there and you're, like, oh, yeah, you're, like, technically drinking their pee. That's disgusting. Ugh. Bro, I mean, yeah, it's disgusting, but it's chlorinated, so anyways. Um, <laughs> okay. It's uh, filtered water. <laughs> it's not filtered. It's actually highly chlorinated water. That's why you, your eyes get fucking red when you open your eyes in water. Oh, thank you, Dr. Einstein. Thank you. Uh, thank I you know, for the facts. I know, bro. I just blew your mind, right? You did. You really did. My mind exploded. Okay. So, anyways back to the thing my dad actually threw me in the pool in the deep end and said you're gonna learn how to swim i drowned four times because they didn't care about watching me when i jumped into the pool when i was little so yes i almost died dude i have a lot of almost death stories like i'll explain those in the next episode but the almost <laughs> death episodes i had so many i almost got shot when i was seven it was crazy yep how did you almost get shot next question no 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 next no. Question. you can't just say you next almost question. got shot next question i'll leave this as a cliffhanger for <laughs> the next question i be. almost got shot when i was seven riding my bike okay Bruh. i live in the ghetto bro Bro, you live in Segundo or what? Nah, you ever heard of Dyer Street? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my hood. Anyways, next question. We'll explain all those stories next one. Okay. How I, how, we'll explain in the next episode a little bit about how I got started in photography and my death stories. How about that? Yeah, all right. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Okay, so we're only exposing my life in this episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Drug addict is what we learned. Got abused by his mom is what we learned. No, um, I was not abused by my mom. What are you talking about? Anyways. Oh, because I got slapped in yeah. the face? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, was, was a very bad kid growing up? Okay. Look, I was not a bad kid. I was actually a really good kid. I was actually a really, really Nicolo, good kid. This is, an, this is a podcast about truth, bro. <laughs> podcast about truth. Donald Trump did not die for this shit, bro. Bro, what the fuck? Donald <laughs> Trump died? <laughs> Imagine. Oh, shit. We got a ping right now. Bro. All right, last question. I, I honestly don't care if Donald last Trump question? dies. Like, if he dies, like, I don't know. Maybe he'd be good. Just Fuck kidding. No. <laughs> just kidding. Fuck no. I'm just kidding. Fuck no. I don't wish death upon anyone. Hey, no te me comes mi sandwich, bro. You're eating <laughs> our sandwiches now? <laughs> Jesus. See, there's always a guy behind the camera that eats your sandwich. Damn. Okay. So. All right. Anyways. So, to get back onto topic, never have you ever. That, that, these, this is a fun topic because this exposes the fuck out of us, bro. But I've been clean so far. I've been clean. Never have I ever forgot someone's name just to ask a second time. Yes. That happened a lot of times to me, especially running that whole fucking community shit, bro. Oh, my God. I would run into people that like, hi, oh, my God, I remember that, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, who are you? But I would play it off like, uh, I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, no. yeah, blah, blah, blah. I, Have you ever been hitting up on a girl and then, like, you hear her name and then, like, somehow you forget, like, in the next, like, 10 minutes and you're like. Yes. You know what? That oh. happened to me. No. Because this is an interesting story. I had an event one time, right? It was an Art City event. Yeah. And, um. This girl comes up that I apparently invited to the event. I don't really fucking remember because I had a lot of shit going on. And she was like, oh, my God, hey, how are you doing? One, she was also wearing a COVID mask. So it's like I didn't even fucking really recognize her face. But, like, I was talking to her, and she was like, yeah, like, thank you so much for inviting me. You know, this night we should go do this and this that. At, it was like a 30-minute little hangout at my event. And not once did I remember her name, know who she was, and I was just playing it off. And I'm glad I played it off for like 30 minutes until she ended up leaving because she went to go do something. But I was like, yeah. I was like, damn. If you guys are ever in that situation, damn. just don't like put yourself in a conversation where you have to say the person's name 
Yeah, no, and I would be like, yeah, 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 you know? <laughs> oh, my God, bro. You're horrible. That was horrible, bro. Was oh, horrible. but I'm the same. I've literally, like, like, I, like, hit up on girls at the club or some shit, and then I'll forget their fucking name, like, so bad. It's so hilarious. Bro, but ¿te it, comiste mi sandwich or qué? Bro, you ate the sandwich? Hey, hey, bro. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Okay, okay. All right, bro. Last few questions. Last cause... few questions. Never have I ever got a tattoo I've never told anyone about. I don't have any tattoos. Yeah, nope. uh, right. You got, I know you got a tattoo. I got, He's got um, a tattoo on his ass. I got a heart on He's my ass. He's going to show it next episode. Ready? Okay. <laughs> Fuck no, bro. I don't like tattoos. Um, let me see. Not in a bad way, but it's just like I don't want to grow old and like have it all wrinkly and shit or faded, you know? Maybe tiny, tiny ones, yeah. Like, it, it's, it's, it's hot on girls when they have tiny tattoos, but, like, when a fucking girl has a whole sleeve and shit, I'm like, damn, that shit's scary. You know? Okay, never have I ever farted and blamed it on someone else. I think everybody's done that. Don't tell me you haven't done that shit. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Damn, bro. Uh, this is his fucking podcast. Oh, uh, look, look. I, I'm going to say it. Like, like, literally, like, I'm pretty sure, like, I've done it in the past. Like, uh, Yeah, yeah. I mean, I remember when, but I'm pretty sure I've done it, too. Yeah. Or like, <laughs> you smelt it, dealt it. Like I might have fucking who farted right it, now, and it. I'm gonna blame you, bro. Oh, I know you'd blame me. Yeah. <laughs> you better take it, dude. Okay. Um, let me smelt see. Smelt it, dealt it. Yeah, I remember that shit. That shit was. That was the way to get somebody. Yep. You smelt it, you dealt it. Never have I ever just bought something for the discount. I probably have. I just probably don't remember. But I probably have the. Just for the discount. Like, you just see a 25% off sale, you're just like, oh, I'm going to buy yeah. that shit. I don't even know if I'm Buying milk it. at the grocery store before it expires so they have it as a discount? Cause oh, yeah, you like, know. It, you know, when they got the milk, like, a day before it expires yeah, yeah. and shit? Yeah, I usually drink it after it expires anyway, so. Well, I mean, those those um, those um things aren't really, like, real. Did you know that? Like, the expiration dates on stuff? Like, it's usually actually, like, longer, especially if it's frozen food. Frozen food. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Have you ever, have you ever, uh, or have you ever eaten, like, really old frozen food and you're like, I don't know if this is good, but I'm still going to eat it? Yeah. Me too. Plead the fifth, though. I, I, I've eaten, like, pizza rolls that were, like, in my fridge for, like, a year and a half, and I was like, I think they're still good. I still haven't died, though, so. Damn, bro. Damn. Damn, bro. Uh, All right, let's see, let's see. We gotta, gotta kind of. All right, we're gonna wrap up. We're bit. gonna wrap this up right now with one last question. Let's go. I'm last question. Better be a good ass fucking question. I'm gonna find the best question ever. Banana, na, right? na, na. Bananas. I was gonna say random words until you find a question. Applesauce. What are you? Why books, are you gonna do this? Goggles. <laughs> Bro, what? The cranberry. Bro. Helmets. <laughs> hair. Wrinkles. Applesauce. I think I already said that. Tables. Count. Okay. What's up? Never have I ever been in a near death situation. Oh my god, yes. Like 14 times. <laughs> oh my god, bro. I'll explain each one on the next episode, bro. Like, I'm not even kidding. Might have been like 10 times. I don't oh know. My god. Like, I could explain. Oh, dude. I grew up. I don't know how I'm still alive, to be honest. Actually, I'll give you this one. The first one I almost died was actually when I was born, bro. At the, the umbilical cord, whatever the fuck it's called, around my neck. Bro, same. Bro, you came out feet first? I think so. Just like me. Yeah. Hey, what's and, up? Hey. And bro, they had to put me in like some shit because I was like, like those little things were like, they had to put like breathing tubes in on yeah, me and all that. Yeah. Cause like as soon as they cut it, I wasn't going to be able to breathe and shit. And it was like, dude, I... next episode, next episode. Next episode, we'll next discuss episode. the 14 ways that Astro almost died. Yep. 14 ways to die. <laughs> if you guys want to know. I'm trying. No. All right. Well, this has been Feet on the Couch. I'm Miklo. This Let's is go, Astro. Astro. And you know, uh, this is the first episode of the Feet on the Couch podcast. We Super raw. We, we don't know. <gasps> See, he's super Dude, raw. My coffee just fucking one, spilled. He's the one that says don't oh. bring drinks, and he spills it. He yeah, spills it. you know what? You're right. I, I've, been, I've been bitching at everybody bro, not to bring drinks over here. This bitching at me all day. He's like, oh. bro, don't put drinks over here. Damn. Over here. And I'm like, bro, like, come on. You just spilled your coffee. Damn. Okay, well, we have to end this shit now for sure. All right. Well, on the next episode of Feet on the Couch, Damn. we're going uh, to discuss how he died um, like almost 14 times and how he shouldn't be here right now. And um, I'll talk about random shit like always. <laughs> See y'all. Enjoy your day. Peace. Shut down the club, bitch. Show me love. Feet on the couch. Feet on the couch.